guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going in and using the new Huda Beauty Gold Palette, the little mini palette. This was exclusive to Colt Beauty, um, which did ship from London, England. I mean, I'm, I think it was London. It was in England. How's that? <laughs> it, it did retail for 22.50 pounds. 22 pounds and 50 cents. I think that's how it translates. I don't know how, I can't remember how much that was in US dollars. I think it was like $27 USD. So right around there, it's under 30 US dollars. Okay, okay. When I saw this palette, I <laughs> say it all the time guys. When I see this, when I saw that palette, I fell in love. I fell in love with the palette. Mm hmm fell in love with this one. Saw it, I'm a sucker for golds, and especially champagne golds, more than like yellow golds, and this is full of those champagne colors. So I knew I had to get my hands on this one, of course. So I placed that order, it took a while to get to me, obviously. Um, I have used this so much since I've purchased it. I love this little palette. So without further ado, I'm not gonna talk too much, we're just gonna jump right on into it. Whoosh. I'm gonna prime my face first before I go in and do my eyes with my Hourglass Veil Primer. I'm doing this because, well, I just got done with work and I'm filming and I took off the makeup that I already had on. So I want this to have a chance to like soak in. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my P. Louise base in the color Rumor 0.5. Next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone in my inner corner using this Viseart shade. Um, it's my favorite like brow bone and inner corner highlight of all time. It's the shade for Ivory. I picked up a couple of these on the Black Friday sale because I can't live without it in my life. And I kind of get tired of digging for it. So <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'll just keep a couple singles right here. Right top shelf, front and center. <laughs> This is how ridiculous I am. I know, guys. I'm, of course, taking that on my Morphe M124. I've already got it on the brush. And I'm just gonna take this right under the brow. And then onto the tear duct. And you can see I kind of like really go in and brighten up that inner corner area. Like it nice and bright. Next, I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty Gold Palette. I mean, come on, like seriously. And I have worn this before, and I can tell you, this does not stick to my contacts like the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette did. So weird, but I love this palette. If there is a palette that has me written all over it, it's this palette. Shades don't have any names on them, so I'm gonna go in with the medium brown first. And there is a little mirror, and I'm just gonna start working this right into the transition shade area. I should tell you what brush I'm using. This is the JH30 brush. Nice and big and foofy. I'm always like pulling it out in this area because I always like to go in and kind of clean up. So I like to make sure I have pigment everywhere I need it because I can wipe it away where I don't. I'm gonna go in with this Nob Nobla Cosmetics N306 and I'm gonna grab the deepest matte brown and you guessed it, I'm gonna take it right into this outer corner and I'm pressing that down first. I really like the shape of this brush because when I start taking it and building it into the crease, it just has like this soft domed tip where it just fits in there perfectly. And since that is the deepest shade, I do want to just build it up a little bit more right in the outer corner. So I'm going to take my JH40 with that same color and I'm just going to build it up right here on that inner corner outer V area. 
Now going back in with my JH30, I'm gonna go in with the lightest matte shade and I'm gonna just take that right on top of everything here and go in circular motions to really blend it. Now Huda Beauty in her ad, she did like the really yellow tone golds and I wanna dive more into like these champagne colors cause that's just like my jam. So I'm gonna go in with this M705 kind of pointed concealer brush and I'm gonna take some more of that P. Louise base that I used earlier and cut the crease. I feel like I do a lot of cut creases, but like honestly, it's just my jam. And this is like classic holiday glam. So that is what I'm going for. Now going in with my JH41. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here in the mid or in the upper corner. This one is just like calling out to me. And I'm gonna take this like right onto the center. I go back and forth between the brush and my finger so I can really push that in and set it. Now I'm going to take this shade up here on the other top corner on the same brush and I'm going to put that right on the center, right, <laughs> right on the inner third of my eyelid. Okay, that shade might be my favorite. I'm going to kind of drag that over that center shade just a little. I think that first shade is probably more of like a topper shade. So I'm going to grab this bottom one right here on the same brush, just going all over the place guys. And I'm gonna take that on top, right onto the center. Oh yes, there it is. I'm gonna go back in with that N306, with just a tiny bit of that darkest matte brown shadow and just barely tap it to blend it together and marry the shimmers with the matte. I want to just a little teensy weensy itsy bitsy bit. I'm gonna grab this JH42 and I'm gonna go in with this center gold. And I wanna do a ton with this. And I'm gonna take that just right here on the edge of all those light champagne colors. Just a little bit. Oof. Yes. So pretty. <laughs> now I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm gonna use my, of course, the Kaja liquid liner. And I'm just gonna draw on a quick wing. I'm gonna, don't be too worried if it like gets too blunt like that. Cause when I go in and I clean it up, that's where it'll sharpen up. But I've been trying to angle my wings up a little more. I don't know, I'm digging it right now. So they like go and point up towards the, like the tail of my brow. I'm just gonna take my Kabuki, like this Kabuki brush and some makeup remover. No, I'm not. Hold on, backtrack. I almost forgot my favorite step, which is the Natasha Denona Black is Black matte powder on my M326 brush. And I'm just gonna go right on top of that. Make sure it's nice and matte and blended on the top. Cause I like a smokier top to my winged liner. Now is the magic where I go in and I clean it up and I just pull it straight up. Wah, 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 wah. And if you feel like that wing still needs to be sharp, I actually like to go in when there's a little bit of this moisture and just slightly drag and then that'll kind of give me that sharp tip. Okay, now that I've like cleaned up that liner, you can see like where some of that is just like chilling there. I'm gonna cover it up right now. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty stick foundation for today. It's just a Huda Beauty kind of day. <laughs> I have two colors. I have the color Chai 210B and Shortbread 200B. Um, I like to just kind of, you know, put them in the different areas. So obviously the lighter tone, I go more on the center of my face. And then I take the darker one and go more around the perimeters of my face. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and blend that out. I like blending out this foundation with a beauty blender because, I don't know, I just feel like a brush eats it up, which I never thought I would say that. But that is just what I have noticed. That the brushes kinda eat this foundation up more. Like I got the brush that this foundation came with and I love that brush, but I don't know how much I love it with this foundation. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this Dior Skin Forever, or Forever Skin Correct. This one's just a little more hydrating. And right now, my skin is super dry. Number one, heat came on in the house, obviously. Um, so our air is a lot drier here in the desert town in Utah. <laughs> and I'm also on a medication, on an antibiotic to get rid of my face rash from face masks. It's a beautiful time, but it's like drying me out. So I'm just gonna get a little more moisture on my sponge here. This is just my Fix Plus because it's kind of getting dry. I don't know, I'm just gonna blend this out. Don't you love my sound effects? They are so good. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Brightening Pink Powder on my Tati Mini Blendiful. Um, Stick this right up there and blend it out. I'm gonna go with my JHO1 brush and my Jaclyn Hill Luminous Powder in the color Do Me. Since I am a little dry, I want to look a little more luminous. I'm gonna take my Scott Barnes 69 Body Bronzer Blush and my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. I feel bad every time I hold it up that it like, it's washed out. Now going into my Scott Barnes contour palette and my 65 brush. I'm going to carve and dice my face with carved and diced. Haha, <laughs> you see what I did there? Not really. <laughs> and lightly start taking this right onto my contour area. I've been taking my contour up just a little higher than normal because I feel like it always blends down. So I'm trying to thin out a little more, right? And of course, you know the drill, going in with hashtag shade, just along my jawline. And my JD Weighty 180 brush, and a little more of Carve. And I'm just gonna go right on the tip of my nose here. Now, my favorite blush of all time, 
the Laura Geller Tropic Hues on my M530. I'm gonna put that right on to the cheekbones. Right on the high points. This ends up kind of going on where you would uh, highlight, but I just feel like it looks so good. I always go in with the blendful and just right there, kind of blend it all together, and I feel like it brings it all perfectly together. Now I'm gonna grab my Patrick Ta Brow uh, Shaping Wax, spray it with some Fix Plus, take it on a spoolie, and brush my brow hairs up. Now I recently have my microblading touched up again, so they're like a little more like filled in and full looking than normal. So we did like a different thing where she went in and did some like so soft touch kind of like more like tattoo like um but i'm gonna show you a new product that i received that i'm like literally obsessed with <laughs> but like i still even though i have microblading i still kind of go in and fill things in because like this i would feel like my brows weren't done and when you put foundation on and everything makeup gets on them it starts to cover them up a little bit here and there so when you wear full face and makeup and you have microblading you do still have to kind of go back in and fill things up but i'm gonna take the anastasia brow pen i have the color soft brown and right in the center here I'm gonna go in and kind of draw on a couple of little lines. Now what I've found with this product, like don't freak out. Like you can like kind of tap it to blend it, okay? And I kind of feel like you don't have to worry too much like if the hairs look perfect or not, cause like it kind of just adds to a way a natural brow would look. And then let me show you the awesome product that's brand, well, I think it is basically brand new. It's definitely brand new to me. Ordered this, of course, on Black Friday. Black Friday is like the me holiday, right? <laughs> so because I have my shaping wax on and I've already got the brow hairs in place, I'm gonna go in with this product here by Mad Love. Okay, Mad Love is a, she's a microblading artist out of Arizona. I think she used to live in Utah. Don't quote me, I don't 100% know. Um, but she came out with this thing called the Brow Stamp. Okay, so it's like this and it comes out and it's got this thing and the products right there and like it bounces in. And then you have your brow stencil. You kind of fill out a quiz, see what the best match for you would be. They send you two different stencils with each brow stamp, like full brow stamp order. And I, this one matches me perfect. It's called First Lady. <laughs> okay. And you just, you line it up. Hold on. Let me get close here. Okay. So like I've lined it up. This is beautiful because I just go like this. More sound effects. And like if you want it to get darker in some areas, like I usually like it to be a little more darker towards the tail end. Just take it off. Look at that. Some people might say, you didn't even need that stuff, but listen, my routines, they are full routines. <laughs> so I like my steps. I like to cover all my bases. So you just flip it around, line it up. We are good to go, right? Yes, and fill it in. Voila. And they match perfectly like so freaking easy how has nobody thought about this before i got it in the color medium brown can you see it can you see it there you go got some on my thumb there but yeah you can just kind of brush it out like you would any other powder and boom my brows are good to go i feel like it kind of sticks on a little more with that shaping wax on beforehand and it looks really good and at perfect brows and i did minimal effort Minimal. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line now. I'm gonna zoom you on in. I'm gonna go in 
with this JH38 and I'm gonna mix the medium with the dark brown or medium with like a tap of the dark brown. Just a tap, 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 tap a -roo. And I'm just gonna start working this onto the lower lash line. And then once that's on, I'm gonna grab a little more of the dark and just start building that up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab my JH37 brush and I'm gonna go in with just a tap of that lightest color and then blend right underneath. I'm gonna grab my Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. And then for lashes, I mean, you're not gonna be really able to see them in the box, but these are my Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. Figure since it's Christmas. I want something a little more dramatic. Classic holiday lime here. And when I say classic, I mean classic with a capital C. Classic. You'll see when I'm done how classic this look will be. I'm so weird. And just pop these suckers on. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I want a red lip, so I'm gonna, this is my favorite obvious red lip liner that I have. I'm gonna go back in with my KKW Beauty, it's a red three, and line my lips. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my liquid matte lipstick from Dosa Colors in the color Strawberry Pop. This is more like a bright, fun red. As opposed to like a deep Christmassy red. If you know your reds, you know your reds. You get what I'm talking about. gonna set my face real quick I'm just gonna do fix plus because I don't want to use my Charlotte Tilbury when I don't need the longevity I always press that in with beauty blender and then last but not least I'm gonna highlight I'm gonna go in with my Stila uh, heaven hue highlight heavenly hue highlighter on my beauty blender I mean, I just think this on its own is even just gorgeous. But I feel like when I layer it on, which I always don't take the time to do it, especially on an everyday basis, I'm rushing to work or something. We don't know that life, but when we're getting ready for a holiday party, it's a little different. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette. I'm gonna take my JHO2 brush, and I'm just gonna do a mixture of all of them here. All four. Dun, 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 dun. Oof. Mm. Then I'm just gonna go in with this little detail brush, JH39, and I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade. Can you tell I use this all the time? And I'm just gonna pop this right onto the inner corner and kind of blend it into my eyeshadow. So I always kind of take it in like a, like a C shape. Like I don't just dot it on. Like I want to brighten the whole area. If I would have done that a couple years ago, I would have been like, what did I just do to my makeup? But now I'm like, I see you. Yes. Like that, uh, that Drake meme where he's like, no, no, no. And then it shows a little later and it's like, mm-hmm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about. This one. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is it for like this classic Christmas glam makeup look using the new Huda Beauty Gold Palette. So this palette was exclusively available on Cult Beauty. I don't know if she's since like expanded that. As far as like these little palettes, I mean, I've always seen them and I've thought that there were like some really pretty ones, but nothing that made me go like, oh, I need that. There are a couple that like I thought a couple of times on, like they made me think twice, but then I just decided not to. But this one, I mean, I am a sucker for gold and champagne shadows and this 
has me written all over it. Like I'm gonna use this a lot, especially in my everyday life. Like I might just stick this little butt, the puppy in my purse for when I'm on the go and in a rush and like say maybe didn't have time first thing in the morning and then run into some time at lunch kind of deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's a beautiful little palette. I'm obsessed with it. I think the packaging is beautiful. I love the foil gold. Uh, I'm looking at it in my little viewfinder here. Um, the little gold like marble and I love the way this look came out like it just screams classic Christmas glam to me classic Christmas glam so if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up leave any comments requests questions anything down below I'd love to talk to you guys uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right there to join the Ellie Ann clan so you're notified every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one bye